Good day, folks. Welcome to the channel. If you'd like to add a fill in a blank line in Google Docs, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So stick around. The first thing you want to do is go ahead into your toolbar at the top of the page and you want to look for insert. Now, once you tap on insert, you're going to look for table and your dimensions and the amount of grids that you want in your table is completely absolutely up to you but the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a two by one and this is what it looks like so in the first one for example we're going to put here uh, name and we're going to just go like this and if you hold your cursor over that center line you can actually drag the size of the table cell and you can put it just wherever it is that you'd like it you can also see now that if you use the end of the second cell you can actually change that too so we're going to leave it just over there now from here we're going to go back up into our toolbar and this time we're looking for format now once you hit format you can go scroll down to table and once you go into table if you look all the way at the bottom there is table properties now in table properties you can go ahead and on the right hand side if your interface is slightly different it may be because of the version of Google Docs that you're using it might be a window and it might be a sidebar so you can see if you go all the way down to the bottom there is color and we're gonna tap on color now over here you can see that this is the table border and currently it says one point we're going to make it zero points right now our table is gone what we're going to do next we're going to change the um the look and feel of the table we're going to just click in the cell that we are working in and on the right hand side there is a borders section and we're going to use the bottom border only Right, so here is a border, and if you see right here at the top now, there is a new menu. You can now change the border color. We're going to leave it at black. You can also change the border width and the border dash, so you can change what it actually looks like. And then the actual size of the border, we're going to put it on three points. You can see now that this is what it looks like. You can actually centralize this whole um thing over here you can um, put that in the center if you'd like and over here now you can go ahead and you can put in the name that you want or the information that you want to put in there and that's what it is going to look like ladies and gentlemen if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below we will see you in another awesome video cheers